Tonight, the father of three missing brothers is talking exclusively to Action News from his jail cell, explaining some mysterious items found in his home after his sons disappeared. It's been six months since Tanner, Alexander, and Andrew were last seen Thanksgiving Day, and their father, John Skelton, insists he didn't hurt him. Action News reporter Tom Wade has more on the developing story you will see only here on 7. Well, as we first reported at 6, we asked John Skelton specific details about what was found inside his house, including a noose. Tonight, we've got more details about other items found inside the home, including a bullet. I have something to prove to, I guess, the world. I didn't hurt my voice. John Skelton once again insisting his sons Tanner, Alexander, and Andrew are alive. Skelton's call to us came as his in-laws met with Action News earlier this week and said they do not expect a joyous reunion. What reason should people have to believe you, though? What evidence have you given that the boys are alive? I can't until I get out. I told my lawyer, I told the FBI, I'm in here. I don't think they're going to do any kind of contact. Skelton says he gave his sons, only five, seven, and nine years old, to an organization to protect them from his estranged wife, Tanya. Police have not accused her of any wrongdoing. Skelton now says he has doubts about the alleged group he gave his kids to. They could have just been duped. They could have just I scanned me and took my kids. I don't know. As Action News first reported months ago, police found ropes and at least one noose in John's home when they searched it. John says none of what was seized in the home proves he hurt his sons. Your family released the search warrant return from your home the day that the boys were declared missing. And in that search warrant, it said that there was ropes and a noose found in your house, along with a lot of bleach and cleaning products. What exactly were those products for, and why was there a noose in your house? Um, bleach and cleaning products. I don't, I don't know. You have three minutes. It was uh, laundry soap in, uh, in, the, in the bathroom. Uh, that's it. <laughs> You're saying you did not hurt the kids with that noose? I they never even saw that. Okay, and they you never saw it at all. Did you say that was for a project? Yes. Can you describe the project at all? No. Not, 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 not right now because of the investigation. The ropes were for a, uh, uh, a cradle harness, I guess that's what you call it. So I was making a, a harness to go around my uh, waist and legs. Like a, like a, also, according to the search warrant return, a bullet was found on a stair inside John's home. Skelton says it was part of an old gun collection, which is long gone. I had them since I uh, lived in Alaska. John Skelton's preliminary exam begins in early June. And, of course, Action News will be there to bring you all of the developments. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Tom Waite, Channel 7 Action News.